Welcome to my next video here. I am planning to go to 10 different countries, mostly in South America, for over a year. Now the past three to four months, I've been meticulously thinking of what to bring and what not to bring. So join me on this video. I'm gonna go through the hygiene that I've prepared, the clothing that I'll be bringing, my electronics, uh, how I'm gonna pack, and also some miscellaneous items that I'll be bringing. Everything fits in here. So I'm gonna slowly unpack and show you each section and how I packed it. All right, electronics. So as of electronics, this is everything that I'll be bringing. And it doesn't look like much, but I've done a lot of packing into this little GoPro case. So first we'll start off with my laptop. It's just an Asus laptop. It's quite big, but uh, it's gonna be where I'm doing most of my editing. So big part. And then also it's charger. So not big on that. This is a battery pack. This is gonna be a must. If I'm on the fly, if I don't have anything need, like no outlets, I'm definitely gonna be using this. And it can hold up to five chargers for one phone. Now on phones, I have recently got the Samsung 22 Plus or 22 Ultra here. Just recently got that just because of its camera and also dual SIM cards so I can use two SIM cards at the same time while traveling and also grab a backup phone. It's a little redundant, but I feel like it is a necessary thing just in case I lose one or get lost one. I'm not stranded. So two phones. The other one is a Samsung 10 plus. I have a universal adapter here. It can go up to, well, got the generic EU, US, AUS and UK. I highly recommend you do your research as to which country you're going to. Each country has a different outlet to use. So make sure you do your research before going there. This one's a very good universal one that I bought off Amazon. It's only like $30. Mouse for my laptop there. And now to the good stuff, my GoPro set. There's a lot in here. So I've got some smart tags, uh, two, one for my day pack and one for my uh, main pack. So in case that I lose any of them, I'll know where to track them down or try to find them. Just a redundancy, just in case I lose them. I feel like it's a necess necessary thing I need. I got two type of headphones or earphones. One is my Jabra Elite. They are really compact. They do a great job, adjust for casual strolling around. So that's some, something I'm bringing and also a sports set of earphones as well. And everything comes in a little nice case that's very compactable. Now to the main part is my GoPro accessories. I'm using my GoPro Hero 11 right now to film all of this. It's also got the media mod on there so I can use a mic. It's also being held up by a tripod, which I'll show you later. And all the accessories that I've got on here is quite a bit. We've got the Volk uh, tripod stand that I probably will be using just as a normal vlogger, medium mod mic. We've got uh, duo battery and chargers for the GoPro, just some spare, just in case the one I'm using currently runs out of battery. I always have some backups. Don't wanna be caught without battery and an amazing adventure. Uh, the light mod as well, just in case for those dark settings, probably go cave exploring eventually. So definitely wanna use that. I gotta turn it off. Um, your normal chargers or fast chargers for my phones. And these do plug into the universal set on the back of the travel adapter. What else do we have in here? Got a mic and mic adapter for my GoPro. I'm actually currently using one as well. So this is actually a backup just in case one snaps or breaks. I have a backup just in case several different lens replacements for my GoPro as well. The one on there is just a normal lens. I have several with different polarizations, a backup one. So there's several lenses there. Oh, and also for data storage, I've got four micro USD cards. Uh, they're all 
256 gigabytes. So very small, compact. Don't really need to worry about how many I'm bringing. It's about a terabyte there. And other than that, just other accessories. They've got my mic extender, duo, redundancies, backups, and also several charge cables for USB type C that mostly charge pretty much everything I've got. Uh, so out of all that, that is more or less all the electronics I'll be bringing and they all pack in here, which is really nice. So. Next we have hygiene, all in here. Very compact bag that I got off Amazon. You'll realize that I got a lot of things off Amazon. But in here we have several small little pouches and it also has a hanger as well. A lot of hostels there, you may not have like enough desk space or like a little sink space, so a hanger is a must. In here we have the first smaller pocket toothpaste, chapstick. I've got some tweezers and nail clippers here. An electric compact shaver, some lotion, and after bite. I'm definitely gonna get some mosquito bites out there. And also probably mosquito repellent is needed. Just got this open case here, a lot of Q-tips. And in here, this is actually a shampoo bar. So get that shampoo bar. And I bought this specifically. It aerates your shampoo out and acts as like a freshener as well. And it doesn't let any uh, soapy water come out of it as well. So waterproof shampoo bar baggy. That also doubles as a little freshener for your bag as well. So. Again, small, compact, something that I would definitely recommend. Shaver, shaver replacements, floss, a comb, portable toothbrush that also has more toothpaste in the bottom. Some deodorant as well. And I was also able to fit in a first aid kit in here as well. Definitely want that on hand. Just your regular band-aids, antiseptics, all in this small bag. Yeah, so that is my hygiene set. The clothing. I'm actually really surprised how compact I've been able to make all these, but I will slowly unpack and show you what I have. This here is a duvet, a very compactable travel duvet. So highly would recommend getting this. It's just a little compactable one that folds out. This is the towel. It's a compact towel, quick, dry, and soft. So highly would recommend. It's kind of like a beach towel there. A safety security belt. It's not really that much safety. It's just to hide some documents. It's got a internal zipper on the inside. So just in case you need quick cash or don't have cash on you, I'll be putting a bit of extra cash in the middle there just in case I need it in a pinch. So that'll be probably the belt I'll be wearing the entire time there. This I wouldn't recommend. These are like highly specific running shoes. I like to run a lot. I plan to at minimum do like maybe 50 kilometers every country I go to or run every day, every week. So highly specific. When you're traveling, you want to have items that are dual purpose not just one. I would highly recommend like light weight running shoes that you could wear comfortably every day. These are specifically just for running. So out of everything, this is one thing I would not recommend. And I've got two compression bags here. This one is for summer wear and this one is for winter. And I'll show you what is in all of this. So we'll start with the summer one here. So these compression bags are super useful because they take all that space of what you might use in compression cubes or anything and brings it even smaller. So I'm gonna quickly open it up here. And I'll show you how to compact everything as well. All right. So in this compression bag, I have like a white beater. 
three pairs of ankle socks. One, two, three. Swimsuit. That's a must, especially when going to South America. Sets pairs of underwear. I have four. One, two, three, four. We also have regular shorts and then some athletic shorts. So that all fit in this compression bag. Now to show you the bigger compression bag, holds so much more. A little headband for warmth. All right, come on, okay. So, these are hiking pants. They're also waterproof. We have a cotton t-shirt, athletic t-shirt. Oh, muscle shirt. One, two, three sets of long uh, socks, a sweater. a duffel or downy winter jacket. Big must as well. Very compactable and keeps you very warm. Sweatpants. Another athletic shirt. Put that with the summer set. Long sleeve shirt. Some joggers. and a raincoat. So you can see how much I've pulled. I pretty much laid everything out and they, those both fit in just like two compression bags. So if you had a debate between compression packing cubes to compression bags, highly work, would recommend the compression bags as they fit so much more into a smaller space. Some of these are good items. Some of these you probably won't need. They're just specific to me, but uh, do with it as you will. I'm going to bring a journal. I like to write down at least every week or so um, what's happened in that week and it could be very useful. I've done this in China and I cherish that journal so much now. Three pens and whiteout. I also have another book. It's just my booklet that I've been using for Spanish. I've been learning Spanish for the past few months. Hopefully I can use this in a pinch if I don't have internet access. Uh, third language I'm learning there. Sunglasses are an obvious need. Uh, headlight, highly would recommend a headlight. Don't know in what situation you might need it, whether the power is out or you're out camping and uh, just to free up that extra hand. Really useful that I've seen. Obviously a cap. Now these are security cables. I use them for two things. One, I usually like to tie them together and hang them up to dry my laundry sometimes. And I also use them to tie down my luggage in my room. Sometimes when I'm out for the day, I like to keep it all secured to maybe a bed post. So I would recommend them. They're very light, very cheap, and just an added level of security for your luggage. I also have quite a few locks as well. My bag I specifically bought because the zippers have that security hook in them so I can lock my luggage down. Just another level of security. Deterrent for those who want to steal my luggage. Probably not everyone needs glasses. I myself don't heavily use them, but uh, I would like them to get that nice nature view sometimes. So the cleaner and glasses case there. Obviously your passport, compact wallet, and obviously phone. Now you don't need this. This is just a hiking bag. I am going to use it during small little excursions. It's also got a water pouch in here that holds up to one and a half liters um, for any excursions that I'd like to do. I wouldn't recommend its own little pack. I would recommend a day pack that could possibly attach to your bigger pack. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, smaller packs like these, not really necessary, but I would recommend at least the uh, hydration pack there. And last two things here, 
I have a Casio watch. I love this. It's been running on its battery for so long. Lights up, digital, great to use. Nothing too expensive either. It's only $25 on Amazon. And the little luggage tags as well, just in case I do lose them. So also with the air tags as well. And lastly, I'll show you the packs. So I bought the Fairpoint 55 liter Osprey. Hoping I say that right. Now this Osprey, this is the day pack that it comes with. And then this is the bigger pack that it comes with. Usually opens up very nicely. And actually this day pack can get hooked onto the back, zipped up and secured and can also attach to the front as well to distribute that weight. I'll show a little bit more detail of that once I start packing everything. I've shown you how I've compacted each and every single section, and now it's actually to fully put everything together. That I've packed, which is the 15 liter winter gear. So we'll start with that one and zip it up a little bit. And what's nice about this bag is that you can fully open it up, so it's good to access everything all at once. All right. And then next we'll go with the five liter compression bag for summer wear. Hygiene bag. And now the shoes are usually the biggest problem. I always like to stuff a few things in there, like I have my towel that fit in very nicely into one of them and sometimes I try to get my dowels stuff as well in there. Sometimes I also put the belt in there as well. So just pull this all the way up. Slide that in there and might as well put the sunnies in there as well. Again, wouldn't recommend these shoes. Take up a lot of space, not very practical as well. It's just that I love running. All right, and then we'll close that up a little further. Now, after that, on the top portion, I do like to put in things that are nice and flat, such as the day pack here. Slide all this around. And we also like to put the duvet on top. And then zip all of that up as much as you can. Oh, this is horrid for the compressor bag on the side. There we go. So all that fits into the main bag there. And I'll show you up close as to the zippers with the locks. You have the little zippers and there's little O-rings that you can lock up the bags. Put a lock on this one here. And then for the smaller one, I usually put most of my electronics in this one as it's most valuable for me. So we'll start with my laptop here. Just slides in at the very back. And then all my booklets and journal. Several pens I'll be using and whiteouts. And also the GoPro box 
fits in here quite nicely as well. Outside with glasses, cleaner. We have your headlight. I like to keep the wallet and passport accessible on the outside pocket there, along with the headphones. Obviously the smart tags, I'll be splitting one up into this bag and one of my daily, just on the inside in case I lose it. Battery pack in this one as well. Travel one, I could put it in here, but I've got plenty of space in both now. Mouse pad and charger. Another set of headphones. And my hat. And this one zips up quite nicely. There's still a fair bit of room in here to pack more things if needed. Now, the thing I forgot to mention is that I have a GoPro mount on each strap, one here for my day pack, and one as well on my major pack there. I will probably be making a follow-up video when I return from my excursions and let you know what I thought about my packing, if I've done enough overthinking about this or not enough. But I'm still learning a long way, so hope you can enjoy the next few months as I put out more videos. Thanks again for watching.